Salute guys. Uh, every, welcome everyone that, uh, who watching this uh, video episode. Uh, my name my name is uh, Andre and uh, I'm representing the channel MLA Automation who is the first time uh, hit please uh, on subscribe button and the like button uh, on this channel. Uh, you will be able to find interesting topics in programming uh, and currently we are learning PHP and uh, today's episode related to series of uh, videos about design pattern in PHP. Uh, walking through different uh, technical interviews, a lot of the developers, uh, which is a professional in their area, they uh, are asking the different questions. They are starting from the small easy questions and they move into the more complex questions. So, uh, design patterns, uh, uh, this is uh, the area uh, of expertise for middle PHP developer and seniors. So, uh, <clears throat> a lot, uh, c uh, on the interviews, uh, when the c people asking the questions uh, related to design patterns, they considering you as a middle or a senior PHP developer. They want to know the, your end point in the top of uh, uh, your knowledge. So. <clears throat> It's very important to know, to know and understand design patterns because this gives additional uh, profession, uh, additional boost of your ex experience and this impacts on your code. So uh, more design patterns you are know, more you ex uh, using in uh, uh, your work, the better your code becomes. And the, in the future, when the other people, other developers, uh, when they looking on your code, they, uh, they more uh, likely going to understand the, you, what you wrote and the, what st standards you are following. So, <clears throat> to, so uh, we're going to bring on the table uh, next pattern in the structural group. So there is a creational group of design patterns, structural and the behavioral. We are slowly moving from the one to, to another. First, we covered uh, in the previous episodes, we covered creational patterns. Now we are uh, go speaking about the structural patterns. And uh, uh, specifically today, we're going to sp talk about the facade. This pattern is uh, very important. It's easy to understand and very important since uh, a lot of uh, frameworks such as Laravel, they are using this pattern in uh, inside their kernel. So so, <clears throat> the design pattern facade uh, analogy. Let's talk about the analogy of this pattern. For example, uh, how do I uh, turn on the computer? For everyone uh, tackled uh, the uh, with the computer, and we all know that we, there is uh, some uh, some uh, some elements inside the inside the computer uh, which uh, uh, gives. Um, ability to work with the different uh, prog programming uh, software uh, also with the different soft uh, s uh, the programs and uh, everything uh, the, the, every computer has cpu uh, also has uh, memory also has uh, hdd and the uh, mod motherboard and uh, they somehow they connect it and they uh, transferring the data between uh, the different points so all this uh, uh, logic is very complicated and we usually doesn't know doesn't need uh, to use uh, to know how this compli uh, complicated uh, connections so that's why uh, facade design pattern he allows uh, to have uh, like uh, only uh, ability like uh, start button we are clicking on the computer on the start button and we are in this case we uh, launching the computer he making this uh, he's loading he's open different programs and we starting to work with those programs so let's imagine that the computer it's a f facade behind this facade uh, we have an, a lot of different classes and uh, uh, the different logic, uh, complex logic, and we don't touch those logic. We need to only to have interface and uh, access to this facade. 
of to the start button and to the stop button that's it so uh, that's why this facade was so popular since he allows uh, to use the complex logic in the simplest way uh, in the nutshell facade pattern provides a simplified interface to complex subsystems uh, what Wikipedia uh, speaking about this facade? So, facade is an object provides a simplified interface to the larger body of code, such as class class library. <coughs> when, if you would like to uh, to start using the Laravel framework, you will be ab uh, able to see a lot of different uh, facades which uh, uh, exist in this uh, framework, and you will be able to use those facades in your needs. So uh, it will be easy to uh, to use uh, different methods, functionality, and not touch and not going f b deeper to the more complex things because in the you, you every one of uh, when developers have different tasks and uh, those tasks is more important to to uh, prepare it. That's why uh, we do, we're not wasting the time to go deeper to understand the, uh, some more uh, complex things in, uh, behind the facade. We are using it to, to make our task and uh, our, uh, our responsibilities to, uh, to cover. Uh, so let's take a look on the example. Please take, uh, please uh, keep you, uh, keep your attention on on the uh, <coughs> on the screen. Uh, you're going to see uh, uh, the PHP uh, PHP Storm and uh, uh, made the, the this example in the bigger fonts, uh, which allows it to to look on not only on computer but on also on uh, uh, different uh, iPads and also on different smartphones. So <coughs> we have uh, class. Uh, we have class uh, computer and uh, uh, this class he has uh, for example get electric get electric so the class computer he has a method get electric shock and uh, uh, he, uh, he just those method just for understanding <coughs> and for simplicity just showing uh, and printing in console uh, a string which is uh, ouch uh, we have another method which is uh, make sound uh, which also uh, brings on the count to the console beep beep message and then, then we have a show loading screen and those method also uh, just showing the loading uh, message and then we have a bam method uh, which is ready to be used Not and we have a close everything method, which is bam bam bus uh, prints uh, the message. And we have a soof, uh, which is uh, prints z z z z z. And uh, we have a pull current method, which is uh, uh, hish. And all of this method they are public. And uh, <clears throat> then we ha all of this method we just uh, can we just uh, lo looking on them and uh, smiling because uh, they uh, they just for fun uh, to to understand that there is a complex uh, class which is, has a lot of uh, logic and uh, we the in our in our uh, task we not going need to, to uh, learn all of those method we need to have a, a uh, class which will be uh, launching those methods and we uh, we're going to make the work our work uh, through this class and this ca class called computer facade so he has a protected uh, protected variable computer and uh, uh, oh my god he has a protected uh, pro property uh, computer and uh, we have a co construct so we injecting the computer object uh, to the our class computer facade and we uh, implementing this computer object to our property computer inside this computer facade in this case a uh, computer object will be available in uh, uh, everywhere where we're going to uh, use computer facade
So uh, this method has a turn on method, very simple, and he uh, basically he is uh, launching, he is executing this uh, method. <coughs> He is executing the method of a computer. So he uh, he executing get electric shock. Uh, he is executing make sound. Uh, he show loading screen. Bam! All of those methods he is simply executing. And to uh, uh, we have a turn off uh, method. Another simple uh, simple method uh, which is uh, uh, executing close everything and pull, pull current and soof the methods which belongs to the computer uh, computer object so uh, we uh, now we uh, came to the final part and in the final part what we are doing we creating the object computer uh, but uh, this is uh, our exter external object computer and he uh, he is uh, b if uh, we are looking on the example if this computer object external it's a computer facade of the computer class which is uh, somewhere deeper so uh, we uh, when we creating computer object and we uh, <coughs> uh, when we create a computer object of uh, facade, we give the argument as a uh, uh, object of a computer. And uh, now this one is a computer facade. Computer facade uh, for... We, uh, we can write for computer facade. Uh, this is uh, for case if we don't uh, fully understand the, the uh, sense of uh, using facades. But when we and, uh, lo look uh, look at before on the co code and uh, the walk through uh, the computer computer class, also we walk it through uh, computer facade. We now understand that computer actually it's facade. Object this object computer, it's facade for uh, our uh, class computer and uh, uh, we don't write in uh, we don't uh, write facade we just simply saying in for computer okay and uh, now we only using the two um, methods turn on and turn off that's it so you see uh, our task is simply to start launching uh, to la launching the computer what everything what uh, is going behind the facade we don't care we don't look on there because uh, our task is simple we need to uh, simp uh, simply st uh, launch the method turn on turn on turn off and uh, all logic will be run uh, uh, put it on the facade computer facade this one so this is <clears throat> this example very uh, ex uh, ve uh, ve very brightly showing how uh, uh, facade important when we go want to hide the complex things which we're not going to use uh, directly we using them th th throw computer facade or from facade design pattern and that's why since he is very simple and at the same time he is uh, making his job very well a lot of uh, developers they like to use uh, this facade in the, uh, their tasks uh, it's uh, easy to implement easy to understand and uh, easy easy to maintain in the future in the, if will be need uh, uh, we can uh, any time to go inside the computer facade and uh, to take a look to what complex th things uh, are going there. But in case, only in case if we have, uh, for example, desire to do this. If we, our task only to, uh, to la run a computer, we don't look, uh, in, we, we're not wasting the, our time, we don't look on those uh, things behind facade, we're just making our job and uh, ta our task and that's it. So I'm grateful everyone who was uh, to watch this video to very end of this video. <clears throat> I, I hope this uh, pattern will be easy to, to you to understand. If you have a questions, please bring them to the comment section. Uh, I'm grateful once more uh, and uh, 
thankful everyone uh, for, who watched to the very end of this video and hope this lesson gives understanding now full understanding of what this uh, facade pattern if you still have a questions once more place them uh, along with the ideas in the comment section and remember the the link on the code will be in the description for this video and you will be able to go on the gist and review a copy and run it uh, this code on your own environment uh, i'm grateful everyone for your subscriptions for your comments and likes who didn't uh, do this yet please uh, do because it uh, supports a lot uh, in the future uh, episodes in the future videos i'm trying to uh, to take the different topics uh, in programming and uh, uh, to, uh, to describe these topics in the simplest and the very easy to understand way uh, and uh, I'm very looking uh, um, uh, opportunities uh, to uh, to get your feedback what uh, topics what uh, questions you still have and this additional gives me understanding how the different uh, uh, complex things to make easier for understanding and to show it to the viewers as a simple simple things because programming not should be uh, complex he uh, we sh uh, should work on uh, preparing transforming the complex things to the more simplest uh, to the easy to understand things and this will be allows uh, to grow a little faster to uh, to understand things more clear clear and uh, to uh, make our job uh, uh, much more better with the uh, be a better passion and motivation so we we'll see you in the next video and uh, be all all the best wishes and uh, bye bye see you